I have to strongly disagree with anybody that says Matthew 24 was fulfilled in 70 AD. The Bible passage applies to the people at the current time, but it's foreshadowing a greater and final fulfillment of that prophecy. That is definitely true in the case of the abomination of desolation. So anytime somebody says Matthew 24 is fulfilled, I'd start out pointing to several verses. Verses 29 through 30 says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds in heaven with power and great glory. So this is a global viewing of the coming of the Son of Man. It says in verse 27, For as lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. It's also important to note that Matthew 24 cross-references with other prophetic passages in the Bible. So we have Daniel 12, we have Revelation 6. So if you're saying Matthew 24 was fulfilled, you're also saying Daniel 12 and Revelation 6 was fulfilled. But the problem is, verses like Daniel 12 tell us that there's actually going to be a resurrection in conjunction with this final period called the Great Tribulation. So let's listen to Daniel 12. It says, There will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then. But at that time, your people, everyone whose name is found written in the book, will be delivered. Multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. We also find out that the magnitude of the final great tribulation is going to be worse than anything that's happened ever in the history of the world. Verse 21 says, For there will be great tribulations such as not been since the beginning of the world until this time, nor ever shall be. So even though the events of 70 AD were horrible, there has been events that caused a much higher death toll, much more death and destruction than the events of 70 AD. The destruction of the temple in 70 AD was a regional event. However, throughout the book of Matthew, we see a global focus. It says, for example, in 24, 9, that they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Verse 14 says, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. So as you know, in 70 AD, the gospel had not been spread to the entire world. The entire world was not hating Christians at that time. Finally, to me, there's not strong evidence that the abomination of desolation actually happened in 70 AD, because that's going to involve the Antichrist standing in the temple, declaring himself to be God and erecting some kind of idolatrous image and making people worship it. We know that the temple was burnt completely and destroyed, but there's not evidence that the abomination of desolation happened at that time.